friends welcome back to my channel today's video is partnered with arteza i don't know if you're familiar with it but if you're not you, it is something you should definitely check out arteza is arts and crafts supply seller and on their website you can find anything that you may need for your crafts and uh, diy needs they have a lot of paint markers pencils um paper crafts, uh, canvases, wooden um, supplies, really, really anything you may uh, need. They also on their website have a blog post where you can find uh, great ideas and tutorials. And they also have their YouTube channel with great videos to inspire you. I'm going to have everything linked in the description box down below and also a link to the products that I used in this video. Arteza sent me uh, these uh, wooden rounds. This is how they look like. The package came with this jute cord and also each of the rounds have a little hole for easy hanging. I also received uh, this package of outdoor acrylic paint and uh, this paint is great. It is water-based, non-toxic, easy uh, sealed and also it is scuff resistant so it is very very good it can be used outdoor and indoor and look at these beautiful colors okay for my first project i'm taking this wood rounds i took seven of them and my idea was to create a wreath or actually door hanging because i decided not to make a round shape like most of the wreaths look like so let's call it just door hanging so uh, first thing I'm going to do is to take this uh, uh, letter printout. I printed out off of um, just Google and it looks like a down font. And then I'm taking this graphite paper and I am uh, putting it shiny side down. And now I'm trying to position my letters. Um, I don't want it centered. It's going to be off uh, to the side a little bit just because of the way I'm going to uh, put together these wood rounds. So I am spelling the word welcome. I really like this technique. It is very easy to do and you can really use any kind of font or any kind of um, picture or drawing that you want to transfer. And graphite paper is very inexpensive and you can use it over and over again. So after I was done tracing uh, all my letters, I am now going to assemble this wall hanging. I'm going to position my wood rounds exactly the way I want them. And after that, I'm going to use um, this Gorilla Wood glue and my hot glue uh, to attach them. So first I'm taking my Gorilla Wood glue and I'm uh, putting some a little bit of uh, hot glue just around uh, for a short term um, hold so I can work with this uh, while the wood glue is drying. So now that I have this all dry, this is how it looks like. I'm going to start filling in the letters and I'm using this Arteza uh, paint and it is in a color chocolate and this very fine uh, paintbrush that I actually got a um, long time ago from Walmart. So um, I always like to mention my friend Heidi Sumbel. Uh, she is the one who likes to um, do things by hand. She likes to fill in the letters by hand. And I started doing that watching her. And it is very soothing, very, very um, relaxing thing to do. Of course, it takes time to get used to it and get a hang of it. But after that, it is, it is very, very um, interesting and very relaxing, like I said. So over here, as you can see, I am filling in my letters and um, this paint actually dried fairly quickly. By the time I was done with the bottom one, the top one was already dry. So I'm taking this jute cord that came in a package with the wood rounds, but if you don't have that, you can certainly use any um, jute cord or anything else you'd like. I'm cutting it to the size that I think it is going to be good for my hanging. And now I'm taking these two uh, different types of um, burlap ribbons one came from the dollar tree and this one i'm not exactly sure where it came from i have it for a long time i'm not really good at making bows i have to say it uh, right now so you're going to see me struggle a little bit over here uh, trying to figure out which way i want to go but i managed to make a pretty good bow and i'm happy with it 
I'm going to have to learn how to make a nice bows for sure. So over here, you see me just gluing the sides to the back. And um, when that was glued, I just add a little jute around to hold it in place. Next, I'm taking this other jute, uh, um, burlap ribbon, I'm sorry, that came from the Dollar Tree and um, doing the similar thing, just folding it over in the back, gluing it. And then I kind of um, squeezed it from the side, as you can see over here, folded actually, and I hot glued that. And then this little mini bow, I actually pulled through this um, jute twine that I wrapped around the bigger bow. And that way it will be held in place. Next, I'm taking a little um, part of this um, ribbon and then I'm tying it around and adding more hot glue to secure it. The top uh, bow or actually top uh, burlap ribbon has a um, little wire in it so it will make a pretty nice shape. Now I'm uh, cutting off the threads of the bottom um, burlap ribbon and that way the edges will be frayed and that's um, what I really like. I like the look of it in this bow. And now uh, my bow is complete. I'm going to attach it with a hot glue to the uh, jute cord that I tied on the top of my uh, wall hanging. I also wanted some extra uh, support. So I took um, this craft stick that I had in my stash. I think it came from Dollar Tree. And uh, I'm cutting a little piece of it and I am hot gluing it to the back. And that's going to give it extra support just to make sure everything stays in place and it's not wobbly. And this is how my project turned out. I am very, very happy with the way it looks like. I uh, even like the bow. Like I said, I'm not uh, good at making bows, but I really like how it turned out. I think it's great for this tr transition from um, summer to fall. And um, adding this little greenery on top was just optional. I didn't glue it and I can certainly change it later for um, pine cones or anything else because the whole wall hanging is very neutral. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Yelena. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two kids. I love doing DIYs and I love creating some nice home decor pieces on a budget. And I really hope you will like what you see and decide to subscribe to my channel. I would really like to have you. Also, if you're on social media, look for me on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. I would love to be your friend. For my second project, I'm using this one wood round. As you can see, it already has a one hole and I'm going to add two more holes using my uh, drill. But I'm going to add those uh, holes a little bit closer to the edge. After I was done creating the holes, I'm going to be using this marshmallow white, Persian green, then jungle green, and Olympic blue um, paint to create kind of an ombre effect on this wood rounds following the wood grain on it. I'm starting with a darker green in the middle and going um, lighter and lighter towards the end. Now, I didn't have any specific technique for that. I was just adding colors and going um, by what I think it looks good. So if you're recreating this, really just go by what you like and what would look good in your opinion. I will have a coupon code for you guys for 10% off of your order. It is a Blondie next door too. And that is a great coupon, so go ahead and use it. I'm going to have everything linked in the description box down below. When both of the sides were done, I just stuck them in a little cup um, to be able to dry. Next, when everything was dried, I took the jute cord that came with it 
I cut out three um, strands and I don't know, I didn't measure them. I just took, um, I don't know how much is it, maybe 20 inches, I'm not sure. And I am uh, putting a little bit tape on the bottom, on the end actually, to be able to um, pull through the uh, hole. And I'm tying a knot, or actually two knots on the bottom. And then I am starting to braid these um, jute strands. I'm braiding it all the way to the bottom uh, or actually to the end of these, uh, this jute rope. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be using, but um, I did it all the way till the end. I'm also going to be doing this uh, two more times to have um, for the next two holes. And this is how it looks like when everything was done. I'm trying to find um, the perfect length and now I'm tying a knot at the end. And I'm not, not tying it completely um, all the way until I was sure that all the strength, uh, strands are the same length. Now I'm just cutting off uh, the excess and taking off the tape off of the, um, one, uh, the end where the knot is. And after that, I'm just using a little bit of hot glue to add underneath the knot because I wanted to make sure it stays in place and it doesn't unwind. And after this step, my project is done. This mini um, shelf, that's why I would call it, it is so, so cute. I just absolutely love it. I love that it's made out of wood. I love that it has that earth feeling to it. And I like that I added uh, that ombre effect in green color it gives it a little pop and it just makes it perfect I absolutely love this one and again the since it's painted with this acrylic paint it can be used indoor or outdoor and this paint does not need to be sealed um, if you're going to use it outside it is just perfect I really really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you liked it don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me and also it helps my uh, video get promoted on a YouTube. Share this video and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed with the notification bell on. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Arteza for um, partnering with me and providing me with these uh, great supplies. I have a coupon code for you guys. It is Blondie Next Door uh, 2 for 10% off. So don't forget to check that out. It is a great savings. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.